Excellent. Finally, Woolworths. Now, as I said earlier, their results are out on Thursday, which is a pity. It's nice to discuss companies after their results, yes. not before. Makes but it also hard. it could basically uh, give us an opportunity to show the viewers that we kind of understand these businesses yeah. rather than to talk after the event. Because <laughs> one of two things is going to happen. The share price has been moving up from around 60 rands, closer to 70 rands in the last like two or three weeks. Yeah. It's either going to result with a positive momentum, in which case it'll take them up upwards. 70, yeah. Otherwise, it's going to disappoint and take a bit of a knock. We've already seen a trading update, which indicates things are a bit mixed. Food's yeah. doing okay. Australia, clothing. Uh, anyway, market cap is around 70.5 billion rand. Price earnings ratio 15.13. Dividend yield has been held at a pretty juicy level, 4.7%. What do you think it's going to be? Do you think they're going to deliver some positive surprises? We kind of worried about uh, David Jones, and I think mm. that's too just hanging on everybody's mind mm. in terms of what's happening. That's the big mm. Australian that's clothing it. department store. Mm. That was their venture into you know into the overseas uh, clothing in big time to try mm. and almost compete with some of your clothing retailers. Yeah. But I think from a food perspective, in terms of their food division, no, there's no doubt that you know they kind of sue market leaders in terms yep. of quality and the middle class. But the issue is that is ShopRite going to threaten them mm. in terms of eating into the middle class if there is no well, salary increases and there's inflation? That's a good question. Yeah. But from uh, people I know that are good shoppers, they say Woolies is still, in terms of the fresh produce and the yes. prepared items and the all the other stuff, yeah. still streets ahead. Certainly. I think we look in, f as we said earlier, on the packaging and really just the layout yeah. in the shops. It's yeah. just really attractive. And also, if you look in terms of their little uh, sit in food uh, of little is it fast food, things. little cafes, okay, yeah. very, very, very well put, and uh, certainly it is appetizing, looks very healthy. So mm. they will still continue to attract um, you know, the shoppers if they're tired of shopping, they eat a little bit to go back to push their trolleys. <laughs> uh, so, certainly, and I, I guess do the well. interesting thing about Woolworths is that they do have the ability because they've got a fairly large store footprint yes. in many of these malls is that they can assess the scale of each element yes. and increase the amount of homewares and f clothing if that's yep. selling well yep. or increase the food offering and or the restaurant offering as and when they notice that that is doing a little bit better. I agree with you. And also their positioining. I think if we look at um, Hyde Park um, and, and Rosebank, the they're just right like at that. the entrance yeah. of that so you can not really uh, avoid seeing them or getting in there if you yeah. want something quickly so as i said share chart let's look at it it has not done great for shareholders it was above 100 rands a share at the end of 2015 it's been heavy heavy sledding since then and i guess that corresponds to a general sort of worsening of the consumer confidence levels and everything else so not doing as well as Shoprite, which has had a better sustained growth trajectory so it's got some work to do if you are like uh, I am, a shareholder of Woolworths, what would you do? I'll be holding, Hold. basically. And if the results come disappointing tomorrow, let's mm. assume the share price go back to 61 mm. and so on. Possibly, I think it would be the right time to pick. I, I think for me, the mirror is that if you look at ShopRite, right? Okay, from 2015, after it had reached high, it went down, possibly yeah. to about 163 or so. And all of a sudden, it starts improving. And I think ShopRite, we've seen exact, I mean, Wool is exactly mm. the opposite. But I think. So I guess your general point is these are good businesses as they go through their ups Tabulans, and downs yeah. and often it's at that point where people are sort of generally negative that they yep. do a bit of a bounce. Certainly, I think mm. the, the, the bedding down of uh, David Jones is possible be coming through and hopefully yeah. uh, from next year 2018 you Because remember, the I mean, we don't spend a lot of time talking about commodities here, but yep. the commodity prices have firmed in 2016 and 2017 yes, yep. or for relatively low base and that will be positive for Australia's economy just as it's relatively positive for ours. 100%, mm. yeah. Okay, good. So we're going to go hot on Woolies as well, although I know people must be getting a bit tired of us <laughs> saying that. We've been saying that for a long time.